Well, hello everybody. My name is Oshi Kurosu. Welcome to Firewatch. This is my very first time playing. I have not played this game before. I am really looking forward to playing it. So hopefully you guys enjoy the ride. Let's uh, start a new empty game. Here we go. I'll probably be really quiet during the cutscene if there's an opening intro cutscene, which sounds like there is. Um, I have really been looking forward to this game ever since I first heard the release of it. Uh, I mean, simple graphics, beautiful colors, even just the orange and the white with the black background right now. Uh, the like everything looks good so far. I'm super stoked. Uh, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Okay, what's going on? And his controller, I can. You see Julia? Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a role play. I see Julia. Uh, I guess he used my. Oh, I pressed the button. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors, uh, blah, blah, well-dressed professors, grad students from near, nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I guess I have to press a button. So, you approach her. Oh, there we go. You are drunk. So, what's your major? Uh, I think I like to be kind of direct. This is you're pretty. <laughs> You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Somebody should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's new boyfriend. Fuck yeah! Oh. Well, let me, uh... I feel like I should probably use the controller, or the mouse and keyboard for this, so... It does have controller support, but that was kind of clunky, so, uh, let's... Let's pick up backpack. Where's Julia? We're all by ourselves here. Alright, there's my truck. I'm gonna assume it's my truck, because, yeah, there's nobody else here. Let's, uh, let's get in the truck here. Looks good so far. Oh, my tailgate didn't look like it was up. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near uh, the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. I don't like dogs. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it in with her class. Oh, she wants to bring it in with her to class. There's also an, an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I think we'll go with Bucket. I mean, we give and we take, right? Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him, too. I love him, too. 1979, four years later, you walk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates from the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Ho, 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 ho. They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good. I like the idea of having a couple little idiots. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that too. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that parents are hitched. Ha, <laughs> ha, it's good comedy going so far. Still driving the same old truck. And there's uh, Sausage Fingers. That's me. Thoroughfare Trailhead. What is this? I'll pick up a hat. Can I? I can. I can. I'm gonna wear it. Secondhand dirty old hat off the ground. It's mine. We are good to go. Um, is there a run button? No crouch, no run so far. We can zoom in and inspect. It's nighttime. Oh. Okay. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia's four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried about getting and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's barely been having fun. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I'm sorry. I get mad. Oh, I don't get that mad. I don't call her an asshole, but... She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Wow. Still likes to draw. She draws plants for her research and she draws all the places you go. She draws you. <sighs> I am a man! <laughs> I look awesome. Well, it's good to see we paved over that fight. Uh, still no run. Alright. Any other hats I could pick up? It's been a year. This second hand 
dirty yellow black striped hat's probably getting pretty old. Atmosphere is really engaging. Um, I really like this, the graphics that they've used here. Eight more miles still. Fuck. I don't know if I can space bar to climb over obstructions. Okay. So it's going to let us do things as we go. And there's old sausage fingers. During the summer, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. Oh, Bucket's still kicking. Seven years later, I think. It's, he's like seven years old now, right? There's a festival in town that brings folks in from faraway places. Uh-oh. Bucket gets kicked. Julia yells. She gets flustered. I don't know how to actually pronounce that. Bye, bye, bye. Fuck, dog! Um, you confront the attacker. I go to town. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't even feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay. You don't want her to go that way either. Uh, from then on, you walk by the river. That also doesn't seem very safe, but... Uh, plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Wow. We decided that like a few years ago, right? Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Agree if she commutes? Oh, fuck. That is... That is not good. I don't like either of those choices. Hmm. I'll... You know what? I'm a commuter. I commute like three hours a day, so... Uh, you ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You do not want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you don't want to move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. Wow. That is tough. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important for her research. She didn't even remember that she just gave it. Oh, man. Oh, she was found crying in the stairwell. You make macaroni and drink wine and to forget it. No, that's... I believe in... You know, I mean, when things happen, you need to talk. After seeing multiple doctors have made tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from earlier onset dementia. She is 41. Wow. This is getting super deep. Alright, what's in the journal here? Oh, this must be... Oh, there's He-Man! <laughs> Bucket is getting older. She comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. 41 years old, onset. Oh, man. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get Julia who calls you a dope on your unborn children little... Oh, and your unborn little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed make, to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their house, uh, from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with a 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. I don't know. I don't give up. I mean, I make this decision on the circumstance that uh, we are able to, to do this. We are physically and knowledgeable enough to do that sort of thing. Can't go this way. Nothing in the bushes. Music is not making this game much easier. Like like I said, this is getting super deep. Uh, right off the hop. And uh, the music is really powerful too, so... We'll see how... I mean, it's obviously it's going to end very terribly. I just know it. So I've seen a couple like pre... Oh, look at that. Whoa, what the fuck? Why did he jump like that? I've watched a lot of trailers for the, Like I said, I was super hyped for this game. 
It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. And we're drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first thing you do, the first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. I have to trust that she'd sleep okay. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a 10 point or a point 10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. It's 1989, by the way, so that was... Uh, we started in... 75, so it's been 14 years now. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You'll say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. We take it. Wow. Deep. Like I said, this is super deep. Uh, enter the lookout tower. Okay, here's our first first mission objective. I'm trying all my buttons on the keyboard to see if there's uh, anything I could be doing here with extra keys, but doesn't look like it. All right, let's go up to watchtower here. Nice little starscape. Full moon tonight. The werewolves are gonna be out. But this game isn't gonna be like a super scary game. It's kind of a break from what I typically do for offline content. Boarded up. All right, let's open up the door here. Looks like this place has seen better days. Floor of the Shashon poster. Turn on the power. Bam. Okay. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Where's the radio? Now I think I have a feeling that we're gonna develop a relationship with this lady. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hold left shift to activate the radio. How do I... Oh, mouse wheel, okay. Release really shift to um, talk. Hello? Okay. Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? I yeah. love the fingers. I love the I'm bricky... Delilah. Yeah, that's the what bricky the guy fingers. said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow oh, whatever shit. it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Okay. Fine. Then can I what, sleep forever? Okay, supplies sure, for buddy. two forks. Okay, now go ahead. All right, I reply. You've killed three ex-husbands. <laughs> you're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. I like the... Uh, Okay. I like uh, the comedic you're approach. Probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. <laughs> you come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Oh, shit. Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but. Oh, well, defense, that's, that's right up our line. That's right up our alley. And energy and some fire in his belly in bed. <laughs> Me, I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Oh, now come it's my on. Turn. Okay. The map right, table. Bye. Let's see. I don't know, I don't know anything, anything about, you, about us. Well, my wife is suffering really from dementia, like heavy trees. onset dementia. Maybe it's, gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish, a tree fetish. <laughs> this lady is awesome. Good night. Good night. Just turn Welcome the radio the off. Firewatch. Oh, there's my hat. That's my hat, yo. Found my hat. Um, answer radio call. First of all. I just want to say, we're going to call it there. So that's episode number one. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch us. I am really super stoked. I'm going to be playing a lot of this game, um, a lot of it right away. So look for the channel. This is going to be flooding my content here right away. So um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for, so much for taking the time to watch the content today. If you guys enjoyed the content you've seen today, please hit that subscribe button. Show me some love. Make my heart glow. And uh, I guess that's it. If you guys liked the video, leave a like and leave a comment in the section below. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.